Well, everybody, why don't we shift something uh, to something I think a lot of us can relate to, or at least you're hearing about. We're talking about Taylor Swift because we are about to enter our Taylor Swift season here in Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> well, not even just Toronto. Toronto and Vancouver, we are all prepping for the Eras Tour to land, and hotels and money-savvy residents are now cashing in with some short-term rentals costing 10 times more than on non-show weekends. So is it fair to be cashing in on these out-of-town Swifties? No! Uh, Jamar? In a capitalist system, there is no such thing as the word fair. Oh! <laughs> it is what the market dictates. Market. And I don't know any hotel owner or Airbnb owner Thank that is going to take a small rate when the guy next door is getting a thousand, two thousand dollars sure. for yeah. the same rental. Yeah. Yeah. It just is what it is. Now, if we want to switch the system and go to say communism or something, we don't want to do that, right? Right. 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 So this is the That's system. The free market. This yep. is the market. I'm just curious. Do you live in the city? I do live in the city. Would you give up your place? I have given up my place. What? <laughs> for you, Taylor Swift. I've been waiting for this week forever. What? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Yeah, you know, we got some space in the bottom of the house, an Airbnb spot. You You're know, charging. and like, and I'm, we're charging top dollar for that joint. Wow! Of course. Oh my God! I've been waiting for this since the concert was announced. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm gonna just guess. Yes. This is gonna be a boom for you because the whole idea is, I'm sure, mortgage rent. You're gonna pay off some bills, maybe go on vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. As a this, result, this, right? This is a Punta Cana week for us. <laughs> But it is what it is. I feel bad. I mean, a lot of people can't afford these tickets, but this is one of the this is the biggest city in the country. Yeah. Everything here is expensive. And, and, uh, apparently, according to Destination Toronto, up to 50% of the people coming to town for Eras Tour are not from here. So that's a huge number. Yeah. Dude, like, I totally agree with everything you're saying. It's just sort of matter of fact. Mm -hmm. um, but I still think it's gross. And I think we're when we see like these disparaging prices, like mm. upwards at like $20,000 yeah. for tickets. I saw one report $100,000. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but I think we're looking to blame someone yeah. or something. Mm. You know, like, okay. do we blame Ticketmaster? You remember high school's the invisible hand, the yeah. economics. That's what, yeah. they say. That's what we blame. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We want to blame someone. Yeah. I think it, that I have no. I have some solid advice for anybody who's thinking, you know what, these tickets are too exp too expensive, the hotels are too expensive, the flights are too expensive. Just wait, because earlier this year I saw Madonna in concert. Now Madonna is 60 years old, and I really wanted to see her back in her prime, in her heyday. Remember when she would have the bed yeah. on stage? I wanted to see that concert, but I was not allowed to sleep on the street and wait for my ticket. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> that's what kids back in the day, that's what we had to do, and I didn't have the money, but I just waited, and you know what? I got those tickets for under. $200, so Swifty fans, if it's too expensive, <laughs> just wait. Just wait. When her grandkids are grown, <laughs> you'll be able to see it for a fraction of the Middle aged Tay Tay. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I, I do want to say, I, I know there's a lot of people who are really complaining about this, and some of them understandably yeah. so. Yeah. But is it true that maybe a little bit of short term pain for long term gain if you're a Torontonian? Because we've already been having press conferences with the police department saying, mm -hmm. we're ready. This is what we're going to do for traffic. This is what we're going to do for safety. But we are in an economic grind. The municipal government is hurting for dollars. She is scheduled to bring in almost $300 million in economic activity right. in two weeks. Right. Oh so $300 million is a lot of money. There's a lot of people who are experiencing homelessness that can get some help. There's a lot of mental health services that the municipality pays for. I think if we can just... Mm. Yes, somebody's going to pay, yeah. but somebody's going to benefit sure. here in Toronto. So yeah, yeah, I just yeah. want to say maybe we just have to reframe this. We right? can get that secret tunnel under the 401. <laughs> what? Hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.